Hello guys, this is Nate from TechUnion.com bringing you another Total War Online battle. This time we're going to be looking at Total Rome Total War, the original. So a lot of nostalgia here. I really like this game, I played it when I was younger. And um, it's just a really fun old game. It's, it's really cheap, it's only like $10 on Steam, so I would definitely recommend buying it. And I should also note that this is um, the day full release is being released, so check it out. We've made really awesome changes, and I hope you enjoy it. There's a mod, Minecraft mod, and a few other things that you'll see, and um, more content and tutorials. So hope you're enjoying that, and there's going to be a Geats Let's, Pit, Let's Play um, going up alongside this in Total War Attila, so I hope you enjoy that. So. Let's get started. Let me load the replay. Seems a lot like here. Like, I have better frames on the newer ones, it seems like. Um, so, let's load a battle replay. Let's do this. Hopefully it's not as this bad in the actual battle. So let's load that battle replay. You know, I think it might be that this is like a 16 or not 16, 32 bit has a 32 bit engine. I believe the old, uh, newer ones have 64 bit engines. And if they don't, that's pretty outdated to be honest. I mean, you should be, it's like 2015, you should be using. Okay, I'm trying to figure out. Let's see. Let's turn some settings down. I mean, like, I ha don't have this problem with the newer ones, which is crazy. Um, yeah, I was. Turn this down, this down, this down, this down, this down. Okay. Let's see if that does anything. Could be something with my recording software too. Look, it seems like there's a 10 FPS limit. Oh well. Let's just watch the battle. So, this is, um, I played as the House of Julii, and my opponent plays as the Macedonians. I'm going to take a moment to look at our builds. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 urban cohorts, 3 archer auxilla and six Praetorian Cav, one of them being in my general. And we play and then we can watch the Macedonian Phalanx. So he has six Royal Pikemen. And his general is in one of them. And he has a unit of peasants. Maybe he has um, arrow fodder or interrupt charging. And he has five units of companion cavalry, very dangerous cavalry units. So, my infantry should be able to win. I mean, urban cohorts can win um, head on against Royal Pikemen. And um, I have more infantry than he does. But from a cavalry perspective, I'm going to lose badly. Because I only have Praetorian cavalry, and that companion cav is amazing. So, he uh, rushes his phalanx forward. Um, he sends a unit of peasants just to be annoying. Maybe to bait some pula volleys too. I might have left my guys on fire at will. I hope I didn't. So I could lose some pula right here, which could be bad. He's also pushing my archers back in the process. So, he's just screening with his peasants, and I'm going to start to chip away at the armor and health of the pikemen. And um, the peasants are out against my urban cohorts, and they chase, so I decided to start an engagement. So he, he comes up with a phalanx charge, my guys are throwing their pila. 
very deadly. And I love this game so much. It's so nostalgic. And I r managed to route one Royal Python with my Pula. So then I can come around and flank his other units. So this is why I think a Phalanx is not very effective. I mean, you have to have support units in order to use it effectively. Because it can, it can only go one direction forward. And if you can't hold the line with your cavalry, you're just going to get outflanked and your phalanx is going to be useless. And urban cohorts can probably beat pikemen from the front. Maybe not royal pikemen though, but... So I come in for a rear charge. And uh, not enough to rot the royal pikemen since I have such high morale. My general dies general there because of the superior much companion cavalry. Much better to have lived. And I'm about to kill his general. So both generals will be dead here in a second. You can see him right here. He's getting smushed by cavalry and infantry. So he's gonna die here. And so with both generals dead, it's just gonna come down to the big units with the superior morale, which are probably going to be my early the enemy general is And the God's enemy general dies. Praised. The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! And that just leaves them with a few cavalry units. So, I can just um, form up my um, urban cohorts and uh, shoot them with Gila. And that should destroy his cavalry. I have a few units of cavalry to left. So this is um, looking like a win for me. Uh, Realm to War battles are pretty short, so I could form up here and actually throw some people into the back. That's pretty effective. And that manages to route my own guys. Um, so I'm throwing people into the back. And we're gonna charge here in a sec. So, and then he's gonna rear charge me. And then so I'm just gonna form up with my remaining infantry, and um, actually pretty close at this point. So that routes that unit. So he just has cavalry left at this point, it looks like, and a unit of peasants that came back. And I have one archer unit. So, and he's gonna make a rush for it. So, I'm going to protect it with my urbans, the best I can, but that works just rot. But, the companion cavalry, since it doesn't have an anvil, I can easily destroy it with my urbans. I can just form up on the charge, it might get a few kills, but I can defeat it and have some extra cavalry left. I'm trying to disperse these few cavalry units. I'm gonna route that one. I'm trying to route this other one. My urban should be able to do that. Looks so cool too. Nice model. Companions are dying. Our soldiers have gained And pretty much today. the whole Macedonian army routes. So that looks like a victory for the House of Julii. And I hope you have enjoyed this online battle. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next one, and I hope you're enjoying for release and the campaign footage that we're going to be putting out. So, see you in the next one. Bye. Take care.